Well, now to the City of Victoria-funded art project that just won't go away. This week, we told you the City and the DVBA no longer like the crosswalk puzzle pieces that are fading away at Yates and Douglas. This is the same art they had no problem paying for last year. Well, tonight, the company that painted them is speaking to CTV, saying it warned the City this would happen. Joe Perkins reports. How would it make you feel if you were paid to paint these crosswalks and then the organization who helped write your check told the public this. Nobody likes the crosswalk right now. The DVBA and the city? Correct. Paul Scalenda owns Fine Line, the company hired to paint the Pride crosswalks, the floral design at Ford and Blanchard, and the crosswalk puzzle pieces. The puzzle art, part of a $180,000 facelift last year at this intersection. Split three ways between the city of Victoria, the DVBA, and Victoria 2020. He says he was paid about $30,000 for the artwork. And I was concerned at the time that they wanted to lower the costs and keep things low. For thirty grand, he says the paint would have to be applied thinner, as indicated in this work order. A thicker, more permanent paint, like the paint used here, would cost more money. But he says the city didn't want to pay that much, since this was always a temporary project. Worried, Scalenda emailed the city. What was that concern that you relayed to the city? that it was going to be thin and it's going to wear out prematurely. Exactly what happened? Yes, and then my concern is I'm going to look bad. Concerned for his company's reputation, he sent another email to the city, and in a response back it says it empathizes with him, and that required follow-up on the project was lacking. It also says it's trying to ensure lessons were learned. I can feel that I've lost some business now. He thought he may get the contract to paint this crosswalk on Cook Street. That hasn't happened. In the fall, as laid out in the project timeline, the artwork will be removed, finally putting an end to a project that truly embodied what many say was a little puzzling. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.